Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How you all doing? If you're new here, I'm Ryan. So today, I built this wall. I'm gonna show you how I did it. And in the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a perfect way to cut your sill in 45. One cut and get it perfect every time. With no further ado, let's dive into the video. But before we dive into the video, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming videos like this one. Let's dive right into it. Some more brick tie guys, going 16 inches on center. Try to put them right in the stud like I said earlier. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're gonna put the seal on top. Put the seal on top of it. And after that, then we're gonna have stock. So for this one, you just want two still, two, two pieces, they're long. I guess yeah. they're all in here. You have long pieces up here, could fit two pieces. I got eight footers. Okay, they're all eight feet. Oh, they're all eight feet. Yeah, I figured it's easier, no? I don't want it. I see some people putting the fucking three foot pieces on them. It looks stupid. Yeah, they don't know better. It's all the same place too. I didn't know they have nine footers too. Yeah, two fucking everyday. <laughs> How's it going, Chris? You get your mask off the drying thing now, guys. Oh, you ca oh, you're catching on, Chris? We're good so far. Yeah, man. You're doing good, bro. Hey, man. Yeah, man. I'm like Hulk today. Let me show you something. The way you want to do the drink, you want to do that. Chris, don't like something. You're dry. Chris, don't. You're dry. See, you press down with your eyes. After you go around, you go back and look at the oven pole. You just feel them. But if you do like this, that's why you got out. You look at in even in the space. Okay. You can't keep trying the way and see if it works for you. That's, the, that's the, the right way to do it. Okay guys, so now we're gonna install our seal. I'm gonna just put them out and then I'll go. Slowly put it down. Okay, Papa. Slowly put it down and then you go down. Oh. Take your time. Right. You drop down, funny. No, no. Okay, slowly go down, funny.
knife that we're going to cut for here now. To bring you <coughs> so that's 110 guys, we're going to cut that piece now. So over there we measure 110. 110 quarter, it's right here. So we're going to measure 110 over here again. Over this side, right here. And from this one ten, we want to measure five and a half. That's going to be our forty-five. Five and a half, and then we're going to going to mark it just like so. This is going to be our forty-five cut. Just like that, guys. So I'm gonna share a tip with I'm gonna give you guys a tip whenever I cut your seal. Always cut here all the way through first before you, you bring it right to it. Reason for that, just in case the seal is not level and it tends to break, you will have uh you would have a nice finish at the, the brick and at the back it's okay if a little piece break because you won't see the back section. So always cut here right through and then you finish make your cut and cut everything off. Just in case the seal is not um, placed level on the surface. Let's go install it. So guys, once the 45 cut is right, it should look something like this. This is where the next 45 is going to drain. So you want to have it sit right here around quarter inch away from the end, the, the corner. So that the other one is going to sit right here as well. And you're going to have a perfect joint right in the center of the iris in here. Keep watching. You'll see. Oh, let's go. Good. This is four feet two guys. Let's go mark it. So the measure. That one is four feet two inches from the front. I'm gonna mark four feet two inches here. Four feet two inches on the inside as well. And then we're gonna take five and a half, five and a half inches from here. And then we're gonna score that across, and that's gonna be our 45. Like we said, we're gonna cut here right too. We're gonna mark first. Then we're gonna cut to right here all the way down and before we cut the entire thing off Just in case it's not sitting level and it break by any means the front won't, won't damage It's okay if the back damage because the back gonna be behind the wall so you won't see anything Okay guys, don't forget your mask, save your lungs Okay, let's go install it I personally I like to dry fit it before I put my master. I like to put it here just to check to see how it fit before we put our master. That way we know that we're perfect. Right now it's perfect where it is, as you see. So now we're gonna install it. for a slope that way you know your water is in and water going in still yeah you get a line on on this so once you finish you're gonna get a line good give me a one that will put the hitch we're gonna get a line guys and line it up 
Roll it right out on the edge like so. Okay. Okay, so here it's telling me that she wanna come out a little bit. Just pull her out a little bit like this. Okay, so I'm gonna put a line block down here and then you're gonna come over here so that I can line over it. Guys, right, so I just see I put a, a line block down here. This way I can uh, oh, hold that right. So you wanna hold it right here. I have my my corner block down here sitting at the head. And all you gotta do is just pick it out to the line, just like so. That way everything nice and line up. How does it look guys? You think it looks perfect? Perfect. Perfect. I think that's beautiful. Okay, that's it guys. Now we're gonna do our joint. Okay guys, let's go back and check to see uh, Chris was doing the joint. Let's check to see and criticize his work. If he done a good job or not. Let's see if he done a good job here. Yeah. Okay, let's maybe try and see if we can find something more to look like. Okay, if you blow everything else, I get shake up again. Eh? Okay, guys, so we we'll finish to use our broom to broom it off. Now we're gonna use our carpet to help to remove uh, some of the spot. Later on, we're gonna use uh, a chemical go over it to help remove everything off so that it come out nice and clean. Before that one you use a little bit of carpet to get out a little bit of the, this, the cement mark that's on it right now. Okay guys once you finish you want to go back to make sure your hole is open. Every tree, remember every tree brick you're gonna leave your weeping out you wanna clear the space. Thank you guys when I was drawing in Mr. Chris block this up. Didn't realize. So you're gonna just need to just clear it open. Every tree brick coat, every tree brick down at the, the foundation must be open. Okay guys, there you have it. Hope you get value from this video if you do get value from this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribe for more upcoming video like this one we upload video twice a week sometimes even three times a week all different type of contents brick block stone paver interlock carpentry you name it i promise you won't regret it so be a part of the team and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so when i upload new video you get notified